Hello and welcome back. This is Nick with another Live 365 video tutorial and today we're going to be going over the Studio 365 Live for Windows. Now in this first video we're going to just go over downloading and installing the application and then I'm going to show you around uh, and show you some of the basic features. Okay so the first thing we want to do is navigate to Live 365, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and then under broadcast you'll have tools, click on tools and then it's going to be under live broadcasting click download free once it downloads you're going to get the .exe uh, setup file this is the installer file okay and now we're having the application installed okay there we go it looks like it finished okay and here we are so it installed the application successfully and now I can go ahead and log into my account here. Okay, so this is the Studio 365 Live. I'm logged into my account and I just want to show you some of the basic features. So up here in the top right you have the account information. That's where you can access your broadcasting package plan, um, your storage space, and also how many listeners are tuned in. Up here you can also check the uh, broadcast um, status. Now this is very helpful when you're broadcasting live. You want to monitor your, your uh, connection to the server. You can open that up. And if you want to find out what version of the app you're running, you just go to Help and click on About Studio. Okay, so aside from those features, um, you can actually set up your information for your show that you're about to do. And that's um, by clicking this little arrow. That'll expand out the show info uh, area. Now it'll have a preview right here but then you can click on edit talk show info and you can change all this information. Okay so if, say for example you have a new host doing a new show and you want to have a cover art URL depicted for that show that's specific all you have to do is go onto the web and grab the images URL that you want to put in there. I'm going to use this one just as an example and basically you just put in the URL and you can preview the cover art and as you can see it takes a takes the place of the uh, placeholder image now when you're live and you want to publish this to your station in real time just click update information okay so next click on the archive tab now if you want to record your live show um, all you have to do is check off the box enable archive and that'll set the application to automatically record an mp3 file of your live show and it'll save it to your computer. Now if you want to see where it's getting saved on your computer just click on show in folder. Now when you start your live show there's also a split feature. This is so if you want to split up your mp3 file based on certain timing or sections you just click split now when you're ready and that'll cut up your mp3 file. Aside from that you can automatically check off auto split and it'll automatically split your file every 20 minutes. Okay, next we have Playlist and Sound Clip. Now with Playlist, there's two uh, general ways of using Playlist. There's Local Playlist and then there's iTunes Playlist. So Local Playlist allows you to build your playlist in this window here. And let me show you how. Uh, it's actually really simple. All you do is you know, locate your MP3 files. You can drag them in. And here they are. You can demo them out. You can move them around by just clicking and dragging. And you can pretty much do the same thing for sound clips. Now normally sound clips are your sound effects or anything you want to add in. But it works the same way. So the next option is iTunes Playlist. Now this is if you prefer to create or build your playlist in iTunes, all you have to do is select iTunes Playlist. Now I don't have iTunes installed on this computer, but if it were, then on the secondary menu, you'd have a list of all your playlists that you have built in iTunes. And as soon as you select one, it's going to automatically populate this window with all those tracks. Now over to the right, you'll see Mode and Crossfade. There's two types of modes with Studio Live, uh, continuous and randomized. Now continuous, basically what that means is that when you start playing a track, it's going to get just continue down the list of tracks that you have in, in that order. 
if you select randomize, it'll automatically play the next song randomly. Now in this uh, playlist drop down menu, there are a few advanced options and we may go over that in a future video, uh, but they're called RTL options. Stay tuned for a future video where we, m we may touch on these. So that pretty much wraps it up for the basic features. Stay tuned for the next video where we're going to go through setting up your microphone, using Skype with your live broadcast, and um, any advanced settings.